That's what redlining is, you donuts. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get your merch link in the description section. Get you one of these shirts. What would Trump do? We have a what would what Reagan do? And we also have a shirt that says my pronouns are USA. Go on right now and get you one of those shirts. Links are in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification. Anytime I go live, make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Let's get into this. What color? What's your race? I'm biracial. <laughs> What does that mean? You just said that, you're, that your okay. son is biracial. What's your, what's your mix? I'm Hispanic. And what? And white. Okay, so you, you go by white? I go by mixed. So why is Obama black then? Well, I mean, I'm also Hispanic. I'm white and Hispanic. There's multitudes. But you're mixed. You're not just Hispanic. Let, let, let's get back to the Would issue. you be the first Hispanic whatever? Uh, I mean... If you, want, what, if you feel like it? Whatsoever. So, are you Hispanic? Can, can we get back to the... No, no. Will you qualify for a minority benefits? So, you said that the United Would States... Would you qualify for minority benefits? So, you... No, because I'm not... I, 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 no. Why not? Okay, so You're you, Hispanic. So, you said that the United States okay. is not a racist country. However, the dominant social order imposes that white has to be pure, which you acknowledge comes from the United States. But, You're not perpetuating that, not me. Which is not a, which, but we're not a racist country, like you said. Do you believe there's things in this country you can do that I can't do? Yes. Name it. Um, statistically, if no, 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 no. Statistic, what you can do that I can't do. Oh well, then nothing. However, we kind of are dealing with lots of numbers and people. Uh, if we were both owning houses in a similar neighborhood, and I tried to sell my house, and you tried to sell your house, my house would statistically be valued higher than yours. That's a theory. Because I have lighter skin than you. What house do you live because in? Because I have lighter skin than you. How big is your house? I don't. I'm sorry. How big is your house? I have no comments on that. That's not important. That's a non sequitur. It's not. <laughs> is your house bigger than mine? If we had similar houses in a similar neighborhood and we both tried to sell our houses, statistically, my house would be valued higher than yours because you have darker skin than me. According to who? I'm, I'm sorry? According to who? I, I, the skin color or? If, so if you, if, you had, if you were working at a bank and you were giving out loans, would you give out a loan to a white man and not a black man? That's what redlining is, you donuts. All right, let me explain redlining. Let me explain redlining for you guys. I was trying to make a point there, it was kind of comical. However, let me, this is a really good book for you to read as well. Thomas Sowell wrote a book called Discrimination and Disparities, right? Just because there's disparity don't necessarily mean that there's discrimination. I can go down the list. Do you think that school districts are discriminating against men? No, they're not. Women just decide to work in schools more so than men do. Do you think that the NFL is discriminating against white men? No, it isn't. It just so happened that black people athleticism plays a role in black people playing in sports in the NFL. That does not mean because there's a disparity that there's discrimination. Now redlining, I did my research on redlining. There is no unequivocal proof that the reason why loans were given or not given is just because people were black. So in theory, this is pretty much what it's supposed to be, that certain areas in our country there was banks would not allow or they would not give certain loans to certain areas, right? Because of multitude of reasons, whether, whether it's a dangerous area, they wouldn't give mortgage, mortgages to dangerous areas, areas that are run down, all of the above. And just so happened in some of these areas, they were minority areas. Now, people take that and say is the banks were racist. But if you look at the institutions, the bank institutions, if they had higher qualifications or unrealistic qualifications for black people, unlike white people, then you would see that the, um, the rate of not being able to pay your loan, right? If you, if you the defaulting on your loan and different things like that, you would see it being higher amongst whites and not blacks if they had extra qualifications for blacks. And that's not what happened. Now, I don't know if it was racist or not. I don't believe that it was because I don't believe there's a correlation. Look at the black banks and look at the white banks. Black banks rejected black people at the same rate or higher than white banks did. Where's the correlation? You know, where's the, the outcry on that? And so moving forward, the idea from one side says that they only did this because they were black. On another side, they had ramifications for people not taking care of their communities, not having good credit and, and the like. So you have the two factions that have a difference of opinion. And you, you, you go to move forward and you say, how does redlining affect black people today? 
you know, I grew up in a black neighborhood and many people who talk about this subject have never lived in a black neighborhood. It's not about redlining that I saw or anything that had anything to do with the government, the reason why black communities were suffering so much. It was culture and personal responsibility. There's no law that makes you not graduate from high school. That's a personal decision. There's no government law that thrusts you into selling drugs in your community. That's a personal decision. Unfortunately, black people, in my opinion, in these inner cities have adopted this culture that's destructive. And this has really no relevance. Now, let me give you an example of how I think that the overcorrection of what they call redlining, and this is what they do every time, caused the crash of the market. Because in, I guess, protests to redlining, they now gave non-discriminate loans to people who did not qualify. And what happened? We had a whole crash of the system. 